Clean your P180 propeller blades like the pros. Don't try this at home. We recommend using 8mm orange nitro gloves with a diamond texture grip. Also terry cloth towels. We recommend dish or hand cloth size. And don't forget your trusty blue shop rags to finish the job. You will also need a spray bottle, preferably one with an adjustable nozzle. You can set it as a stream. And of course, let's not forget the safety glasses. Be sure you are in a well-ventilated area. Use a respirator as necessary to avoid breathing toxic fumes. Depending on which publication you reference, the solvent will vary. What we recommend is 99% isopropyl alcohol, anything stronger, and it will compromise the paint. Always refer to the current aircraft maintenance manual and any other relevant publications before starting. Approved manufacturer's data supersedes anything in this video. The aircraft manufacturer recommends very strong solvents. If you use solvents like MEK or acetone, be sure to have the necessary materials on hand to reapply the paint. The propeller manufacturer also recommends strong chemicals. We recommend to start with the less harsh solvents and work your way up from there until you are satisfied with the results. Chapter 5 in the Aircraft Maintenance Manual refers to Heart Cell Service Bulletin for inspection procedures and intervals. The blade cleaning should be completed within three flying days. However, it is recommended to clean them at the end of every flying day. This is what we recommend. Just remember, the more often you clean your blades, the easier it is and extends the life of the paint. So let's glove up and dive right in. Saturate the blade with isopropyl alcohol, using caution not to spray inside of the hub area. Then using your gloved hand, scrub the blade face, feeling the grit dissolving. This technique is perfect for detecting blade nicks. You will notice the majority of the grime dissolves fairly quickly. Apply more alcohol as necessary to keep the blade face wet. Continue to scrub the blade face until you no longer feel the grit, then use the terry cloth towel to wipe. You will quickly see the stunning results with a ready-to-paint finish. Continue to clean the remaining blades using the same technique before we switch to the other side of the face. Use caution around the decals especially if they are already peeling up as the cleaning procedure will accelerate their decay. Standing inboard of the propeller puts you on the dirtier side. Be prepared for a little extra elbow grease and maybe some scotch bright.
Now finish the remaining blades in the same manner. This blade just had a little too much buildup. Let's use a patch of scotch bright to speed up the process. Ideally, it's better to continue with elbow grease, but I will demonstrate using the abrasive pad. This technique is similar to wet sanding. Using light pressure and ensuring it is wet, proceed with frequent breaks to check the progress without going too far. Sometimes you just have to use a little fingernail to work the stubborn areas. Now with step one complete, we can move on to step two. Using a disposable blue shop rag, we will wipe off any debris left from stage one. you can see the areas of the blade face that really take the beating. To prevent this, clean your blades more frequently. Now, let's double check to make sure we didn't miss anything. Thank you for watching. Be sure to visit us at simsair.com.